today's project is a super useful upgrade. We are going to put the factory heated grips on the KTM 890. To start, we're going to remove the hand guards so that we can get to the grips. For the ends, you just need a six millimeter Allen. For these bolts, you need a 10 millimeter socket. We'll just loosen it enough to move it out of the way. All right, now I'm going to remove the seat. So we're gonna have to find the plug that these things plug into. Now, some people have found the plug just right under the front here. So we'll have to see where mine is. All right, so I fished around in here to try to find the plug and I can't find it. So let's go searching for it. All right, if you can't find the plug in the front, you're gonna have to dig for it. Now, instead of removing the entire gas tank, you can just remove the battery box. You remove these two bolts from either side, and this just kind of lifts up. Then you have to remove the side panel bolts on both sides, the battery box bolts on both sides. You also need to remove this battery retainer, and then you need to unplug and remove the wiring harness, both of these. Then this whole thing will slide out and flip forward and you can get your hand up underneath the gas tank to find the missing plug. The plug that you need, once you move all this out of the way, is that white plug way down there. I don't know if you can see it. We're going to have to fish that to the front by the steering neck. Let's do that. Since I can't really get it out, I decided to go ahead and unplug the end of it. And I'm going to fish the wire for this grip down through the front and plug it. Go ahead and plug it in. Okay, after feeling around a bit. I got it plugged in. So now we're gonna put all this back in place and plug in the little module and then turn it on and make sure it works before we take these grips off. Make sure that these plugs underneath slide back into their places. It's not the easiest thing to do. Now, this is where the little module plugs in. This was slid down in this hole. So you're going to take the little dummy plug off. Then you're going to plug in this little control module. I 
believe this sits kind of down in this hole. So let's plug it in. Let's see how that works. I think we might have to reroute this wire a little bit. this right down in this space here just like that all right now we're gonna go ahead and start up the bike Alright, we must have done something right because these things are nice and toasty. Now we're going to install them onto the bar ends and we're done. Now we're going to do the actual grips. So to get off the left side grip, if you look at the new one, there's a little screw underneath the rubber. It's a T15. So that's what we're going to remove to get this off. Here it is. And just loosen up that screw and this grip should just slide right off. Just like that. All right, now we're gonna take the new one and just slide it over like so. There's a little slot here that you want the wire to run through. That. There we go. And you're just going to come back underneath and tighten down that bolt. And you don't need to over tighten it because it fits on there pretty snug. Once the grip is on, you can reinstall the handguard, tighten it down with a six millimeter Allen. And then we'll go back on the other side and tighten down the pinch bolts. Now on the right side, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're just gonna remove two Phillips head screws that pinch the throttle housing. And you can pull the top piece off. Then the throttle tube just slides right out. All right, now we're gonna take the new one. We're gonna slide it right into the place of the old one. And it's, if you look at it, it is actually keyed to go into these little slots, like that. All right, this part's a little tricky. So there's this little plastic piece attached to the wire, and there's a small notch on the inside here. The plastic piece fits down inside that notch and kind of sticks out like that. And then you want to tuck the wire up in this groove on the back side. Now, when you slide 
the throttle in, it takes up that little gap. And if you see here, there's a notch on this piece as well. It seals it all together like so. Make sure your throttle moves freely and then you can bolt it back together. All right, just line it all up, tighten it down. Okay, to wrap this up, we need to route the wires. So we want the wires to follow the other ones. So this one we're gonna have to unplug and move it around. Luckily it is easy to get to. We'll fish it underneath. And run it right alongside these other ones. So the left side runs across and then around the stem and then plugs back in. Now this right side, we're going to do the same deal. We're going to run it parallel with all these wires. We're going to need to unplug that as well, which we cannot do. So easiest thing to do here would be to undo the pinch bolts for the grip up top, move it away from the bar, and then we'll feed it around. So it runs right with these other wires. Let's do that. All right, now we're all done. The side's nice and solid. The wire runs up, around, through, and then down into here and plugs in. On the throttle side, throttle work, works good. That wire runs through this housing, out underneath, joins all these wires here. So it's held on by this, runs through this one, and then it just runs in and is plugged in as well, up underneath. I hope this video helped your installation go smoothly. If you're interested in more overlanding and KTM related content, consider subscribing and check out this next video.